Hello friends and family. Hey, uh, it's been almost a year since my last update on my layout. And there's a lot that I've been doing. Um, this is the older part of the layout. Um, really not much of a change other than it's a mess. Um, working on two or three projects. All my cars and trucks are piled up. <laughs> I need to get out of the way. Um, so I'll just do a real quick flyby here on the old section. You guys have seen or can see on the videos. Um, uh, you can see cars and cars, auto cars and rail cars everywhere and upside down and yeah so I got a couple of new buildings that we're working on as always with uh, model railroading there's several projects going on at the same time um, so this hole is still normal and the uh, uh, layout looks pretty much the same um, got a, trying to sneak around here more cars upside down are in the pile and this is kind of where it starts to change. Um, this is my original board. Uh, when I started this whole project, it was a 7.5 by 3.5 board, and this was part of the original board. Um, the original track line you can kind of see used to go up over across that bridge, which is about 6 inches out of the road now, and then loops back down on behind the granary. And then that's, that's line 2. And then line 1 um, came up where you can see the caboose hat and the, and the gondolas, and it came back around went through the mountain, which now the mountain is, uh, yeah, it's torn apart. It's a hole now. Um, and so it came right where the wood is at for the crossover, the lift there, the rise. And, um, and then just came back around with line one and two uh, coming through a portal, tunnel portal right here, and then returning back to the board as normal. So the addition that I've made is uh, main line one, you can see it taken off to the left there, and it runs straight across. And then uh, you can see I put another switch in coming off of main line one, to the right. Uh, the coal station, I'm not sure if it's going to be there for sure, but it used to be up on the hill, which that hill doesn't exist anymore, so i got to put it somewhere. So this is kind of the idea. Um, and then we actually go through the wall of the house. And this was kind of frightening for me and scary. It was a bit of a commitment. Um, uh, plugging holes for where the drill, those screws went through for the board wasn't too bad, but making holes and fixing those one day might be. So now I'm in the hallway of my train, of the family room. Uh, the, you're looking directly into our mechanical room. And I've created this bridge that goes across. And right now this is just main line one. Eventually I'd like to have a double decker with main line one and two going across here. But right now we're just on main line one. And so then that goes into this hole. And I'm going to duck down underneath of this real quick. Try not to get you too miss messed up where I'm heading to. So now we're coming into the furnace room or the mechanical room. Uh, this is looking back at the at the bridge. Um, there's the door is to the train room on the right, uh, left rather, excuse me. Um, so then we come in here to the storage area, which is just a cluttered mess. Um, and I've I've laid track on that goes through the wall, and I'll show you that on the other side of the wall in a second. And then we just laid track all the way down the shelving unit, and it goes through down there on the left by the light. So now let me get back out to the front of the train set and you can kind of see the front of this um, try not to fly too fast here and get get anybody nauseated <sighs> okay so we're coming around the corner so let's I'll reorient you here so this is the crossover bridge and this is going back into the layout room train room so line one goes across if it's on the right it stays behind the wall and goes all the way over to the corner if it's on the left it comes out on this portal right here the bottom right hand corner of the view you can see the locomotives popping through on the far side over there. Um, and then I've just got a big S. Um, this expands my training room by 8 feet by 8 feet out here, and then another 8 feet by, I don't know, 2 feet maybe in the back. So it just does an S, nothing too fancy. Um, eventually putting in some mountains and lake, or rivers. Just wanted to be a very rural scene, uh, maybe some cattle or horses perhaps. But nothing, uh, nothing in real big structures, uh, maybe a you know, ranch house or something, petite, but anyway. So, um, we'll fire this up and get back into the train room. Um, one day I'll have the DCC, but right now it's still just DC and we're still adding on to the layout. So, the money goes into the layout and into cars and locomotives and yeah, you guys all understand that. Alright, so we'll try to get some power here, get this old, old guy up and rolling. Alright, so we're coming back through the wall, across the bridge again. There's the storage room. Now we are looping out into the front room and 
we are flying along here. <laughs> um, anyway, so we'll get over here so we kind of see what's going on. Um, this is uh, three three G, uh, Jivos, uh, AC4400, and um, I got one caboose on the back end of it. Uh, and then we've got 62 cars being pulled between. And I think this is about my max load for cars based on my curves and the length of my straightaways. <clears throat> I've tried tried a few more than 62, and I just couldn't keep everything on the track and running properly. So we've bent back down to 62, which is plenty long enough. I mean, that's a nice like looking train right there. Uh, the S is across the board, and it gives me a lot more options on. Uh, kinds of trains I can run and how big they are and such things and yeah, I get a little more realism. Um, never really was looking for an actual prototypical railway. Um, just kind of having fun with this and um, uh, as you can see none of my engines or cars are weathered or, or anything like that. I, I prefer them nice and clean and new and um, I know there's a lot of debate out there on that particular subject so I won't go into that one. I just say that my scientists in this part of the world has decided that aerodynamically it is better for the locomotives to be clean and the cars to be clean. So we're going with that theory for the moment anyway. Um, so then we're just coming back into uh, mainline number one again. Now we're back to the layout. Um, it uh, seems to be running pretty smoothly. Um, anyway. Lots of cars. Probably go a little faster. We'll see. Watch them come off the track now that I said that. And then we got our tankers coming up on the screen. And we got some gondolas coming up. And then we'll finally see the caboose here. So that's kind of fun. Notice a lot more noise in the room since I got all these cars on. Uh, I don't have all metal wheels. I got some metal, some plastic. So, but you can definitely hear the clicky clack of the metals and pretty cool that way. So, we're going to come back out here on the other side. Give you an idea. So then the train goes behind the mountain and underneath the cement factory there. And then it comes out on this portal right by the window. Down through the city. And my uh, brother and sister-in-law got us this, these three buildings, so i got to get those lit and uh, put on the board properly. They're not there yet, obviously. Uh, like, you, like I said earlier, there's always a half a dozen projects going on, so you devote your time where you can. Right now it's on expanding the layout and getting the track. So we're still running, running trains trying to make sure I'm getting the, everything perfect on the on my connections and my switches and my curves and yeah I want to make sure it works right so uh, but testing real tragedy I have to run trains <laughs> um, best thing in the world to be doing it definitely helps your psyche to sit watch trains go around the track and listen to the wheels so anyway I'll uh, end it there kind of gets us back to where we started uh, thanks again for all your kind words and all your input and help and very grateful for my wife and kids and all their support and love. And you guys have a wonderful day.